Hello there everyone, Ash and Flash here and welcome on into a very special video. Honestly, when Lego and Ikea first announced that they were going to be doing a collab, I was so excited. I, I, you know, the first thing I thought of is Ikea store set. I know that thing would be huge and it wouldn't actually be a real set or anything like that, but I just think that like furniture and things like that was the way to go. Then when they announced that they were doing these boxes and they kind of just showed them off a little bit, I was like, okay... I, I didn't see the appeal and it wasn't until a conversation that I had with Holly whatever her name is going to be and I saw it on Instagram as well that I really was sold on this thing and I'm going to put the pictures up on screen that you can actually use these boxes for so I'm going to open them all up on screen and I'm just going to show you um, each of them and I'm going to break down each price point so so let me just go through the prices of each of these, starting at the largest one, and you can look it up yourself. So let me just go through the prices for each of these in USD and Canadian, and if you want to look up the name of the actual product yourself, you could look it up there on your IKEA for your country. But the largest one is actually $14.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian. The next smallest one is actually $12.99 USD, and this is the medium size one, and that is $19.99 Canadian. And then these small ones here, these are actually three of them together this is 9.99 usd and 15.99 canadian and this is actually 14.99 usd and 24.99 canadian these two ones are actually the exact same price now these were actually available starting on october the 1st call ahead because they're now online showing up online but when i went today they weren't so i had to call customer service to see if they actually had them in stock and they did so I went and I grabbed them and I, I cannot wait to open these up and actually like I have so many video ideas for these and so many potential ideas just I have all these clear bins and different things like that and so if you've seen my room updates and such this is actually my Avengers Endgame battle scene from like when I moved everything from upstairs to downstairs I threw them all into this Tupperware so I have things like this where it's just DC characters just Marvel characters so so the idea I had was actually, you know, getting one of these, the large ones specifically, decorating them, like maybe making a Batman symbol or something on the top, and then that would be like my Batman characters or the Justice League and things like that. So I think that there's a lot of cool possibilities for customization and things like that, which... So the reason I had the figure there was just to give you scale and perspective of like, you know, how big these boxes actually are. But uh, you're going to see here in a second. So it is very strange. The actual boxes here to see like Lego and Ikea together. Like that's really cool, but also extremely strange, I would say. But again, still really cool. So let's go ahead and let's slide this open here. And let's see what pieces are actually inside. There are 201 pieces included in this set. It is the only one with bricks. And, you know, I, I have all the pieces, I believe. I don't think that there's anything in here rare or exclusive. I, you let me know. Um, but let's see what's inside the instructions here. If there's anything special or maybe ideas. I see. So you've got like a bed. You've got a car and some plants and things like that. A little table there. Um, a stove top, a duck, some dogs, and um, yeah, sink. So some Ikea things in there, I guess. But uh, yeah, let's see the figures because I keep seeing all these different hair pieces used and things. So let's go ahead and let's open this up and take a closer look. All right, see what's in this small bag. So you got some like a dish here for like an umbrella they keep showing um, and a top hat is that Luke's hair there and then we've also got a uh, chef hat so that's all there is in this bag um, you can make the umbrella like that uh, I'm not really sure that's actually really cool that reminds me of like the classic 2006 like the video game penguins uh, umbrella that would be really cool to sub out but let's, let's move this to the side here, and we're going to open up the second. Oh, there's four bags. Let's open up the next smallest one because this has some more um, minifigure accessories and things inside. So you got some plants included in here. Um, you've got some flowers. What else? you got uh, some coffee mugs. You've got a skater helmet, and you've got a frying pan, a hot dog a bun with a hot dog there got a hair and hat combo that's pretty cool so some more plants and things in there um some dishes 
and um, yeah, I don't know how these are organized or anything like that, but we'll we'll try my best to keep them separate. Uh, this is the next one. So in the set, I believe there's only two minifigures, um, but uh, you can see all of the pieces here. It reminds me a lot of like the old modulars, of course. Um, so let's put them together real quick. So yeah, these are the two that you're getting. Nothing, nothing special at all with the torsos. They're very generic there, um, which makes sense. You know, I, I get it. I get what they're doing. Um, that reminds me of like the when Lego, the Lego shop is broken and the, the little guy, I, Bob, I think was his name from like Lego Universe. Um, but yeah, a bunch of bricks, colorful bricks, some windows here, no panels. I'm gonna guess that that's in the next bag but those are the the two figures that you do get in the set that you can create things around some roofs and things like that a bunch of different colors um no dark browns anywhere i'm noticing just some reddish browns um but let's open up the very last bag now and this is actually there's some pretty cool things in here these are i guess the large pieces and you've got a remover, which is, you know, very common, but you've got a window pane here. So that's really cool. Um, you've also got this door frame. That's really awesome. And you could put the dark blue door there, however you want. So that's cool to like make a house out of all these bricks. And then you've got another window, a gray base plate, I'm guessing for the actual house, the build. This could be for like a table. You've got some of these bricks, I guess, to make like the different walls of the house. So two window frames for those window pieces before, and then you're getting all these bricks. So this is everything that you are getting in the set. Uh, I think everything, yeah, everything is in frame with the piece remover there, the brick separator. So this is everything that you're getting in that one set for uh, nine for $14.99 USD and $24.99 Canadian. I don't know if it's necessarily worth it, that is all you're getting, so mm, mm, it's okay, I guess. But I, I mean, if you have pieces, you don't need anything here. So I, I don't, I don't know if I could really recommend this. All right, here is the smallest one, and uh, I don't know if I need the knife for this. I don't think I do, um, because it's not an actual Lego set. Like, there's no piece numbers or anything like the other one had. Um, but, uh, they've got suggestions and things for you to customize it. I think that's all using pieces from, uh, the set that we just looked at and you gotta really tear this thing apart, um, to get inside here. Oh my goodness. Pour it out. Wow, I did not expect it to look like that underneath. All right, so this is the largest one. Really light and hollow, which I didn't expect. I don't know what I was... Ex I was almost expecting wood, but it doesn't make sense at all. Of course, it would be plastic. Um, but uh, very hollow, very strange uh, to me. Very weird. I, it almost feels like a knockoff Lego box or something like that. But you see the Lego... They have the Lego studs there. So that's really, I can't explain to you, like, honestly, if I had to recommend one, I guess, I, I haven't opened the other ones yet, but just, just to get a feel, I almost, feel, you know, you need to go and, and try this out yourself. That is so weird how that sits. Like, it ain't moving. So you get two small ones that are the exact same size, and they are actually half of, uh, half the width there, you could see. Um, that's how it was in the box. So yeah, you can decorate here, the little window area, I guess. If you wanted to like mark it and have it be like red for Marvel or something like that. And then uh, on the inside, there's no studs, which I think is a bit of a missed opportunity. Like maybe have some studs somewhere, but that's that's still pretty interesting. Um, but let's let's keep going. All right. Let's go ahead. Whoa. Oh my goodness, I have to assemble this one? Wow, look at that. You have to assemble this. Literally cardboard and... I did not expect this. Wow. All the panels. And then we've got the top lid. Instru Lego. Oh, this is... Okay, this is weird feeling seeing Ikea instructions here. 
But then Lego bricks. Ooh, very weird. Very weird. All right. Yeah, don't step on it. All right. Let's grab these. Slide them down like that. Make sure the studs are facing the right way there. Oh, that goes here. My bad. And then you're good to go. Grab this and place it here on at the bottom so that you have the hole facing down and snap them all in to place there. I want to make sure that they're all locked and then you're good to go. Giant, uh, giant lid there. Look at that. Very cool. Very cool. Interesting that you had to assemble it. I, I really like that, but uh, it is very large in here. Um, and this is only the medium one. All right, we're on to the big one now. Oh my goodness. I don't know why this is peeling, but it's a lot different than the other ones. Oh my gosh, this is going to be insanely huge. What was I thinking? Wow. Oh my goodness. That is insane. All right, I'm going to try my best here <laughs> to get everything in frame. Um, but all right, let's put uh, the Lego studs facing up. Lock that in. Lock that in. And... go that's locked we'll put the lid on first this time wow this is heavy too and then we're gonna pop that in like that again grab it and pop them all together wow this thing is solid oh my goodness this is huge that is it's crazy that in the box it doesn't look that big, but when you assemble it, like this is, it's crazy. It really is look like in scale to my figure. Oh my goodness, like, like it's so exciting. Like the possibilities for this is really awesome. So I just wanted to do one last thing with this before we went, before I ended it. And I just wanted to remind you guys, very loud, very, very hollow. But let me show you, this might not go well, but let's, let's try it anyways. I'm gonna take off the lid. And we're gonna pour in the end game display. Just cause it's almost full. So there you go. The entire bin, this bin here, fit inside here with tons of room to spare. So much room to spare. So I just thought that I'd share that with you. Well, there you have it, everyone. That is Lego and Ikea's crossover for now. I'm excited to see if they'll do anything more in the future. Like, this is insane. This is really cool storage units, and I think that it's perfect for a Lego fan, honestly. And I've really changed my mind about it, and I can't wait to customize these. But if you guys have any questions or ideas for videos and things like that, if you want, leave them down below, like questions, anything, like how, how like, if you have any questions about these guys, let me know. I will try to answer them. Or maybe if there's a lot, I will do another follow-up video to this because they're just so interesting and fascinating. I really just am impressed. I'm really impressed and I, I'm glad that I picked these up and I'm excited to see how I'm going to use them and store them in the future. But anyways, everyone, what do you think of these? Please let me know down below in the comment section. I hope that you did enjoy this and I hope that you all have a great day. I will see you all in the next one.